Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss a very interesting problem search in a 2D matrix. So in this tutorial, first we will understand the problem statement, then I will discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem and finally we will write its Java code. Let's start with the problem statement first. So in this problem, we have to write a code that searches for a value in an m cross n matrix. So we have given a target value and we have to search this value in an m cross n matrix where m and n is the size of row and column and the matrix has following properties. The first property is integer in each row are sorted from left to right. So it is sorted in ascending order. And the second property is the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. So first integer of this row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. Similarly, if you see 23 is greater than 20. So if you clearly observe this property it means integer in each column is also sorted from top to down fashion so in this matrix integer in each row are sorted from left to right and also in each column is it is also sorted from top to down fashion now let's uh, discuss multiple examples to understand this problem statement in the first example we have to search a target value 3 in this matrix and 3 is found in in a first row so we return true and in the second example we have to search a target value 13 and if you see 13 is not present in this matrix so we return false so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem let's start with the easiest approach and the easiest approach is to traverse this 2d matrix and compare each element with the target value if match is found return true else return false for example let's say we have to search three in this matrix so we start traversing this matrix and first compare is one is equal to three no then we move to next element is three is equal to three yes and we return true now let's suppose we have to compare 20 then again first we compare with one no match is found then three no match is found then five seven ten eleven sixteen and when the match is found we return true else we return false now suppose if we have to search 13 so we traverse uh, we traverse this 2d matrix and first we compare one with 13 no then 3 then 5 then 7 then 10 then 11 then 16 then 20 and then 23 30 34 and 60 so no matches found and after the complete traversal we return false and if you want to see this code here is the code and uh, so we run two for loop and we take each element and we compare with the target value if at any point if the match is found we return true else after the complete traversal we return false now uh, this is the easiest approach now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n cross m where n and m is the size of row and column and its space complexity is big o of one we are not using any extra space I mean we are using only constant space so this is the easiest approach and now let's see how we can improve our solution so let's improve our previous solution so instead of doing a linear scan we can take the advantage of the first property that integers in each row are sorted from left to right it means integer in each row are sorted in ascending order so here we can take each row and do a binary search on it to check whether a target value is present or not so we take first row and do a binary search on it if the target value is found we return true else we take the next row and do a binary search on it and again if the value is found we return true else we move to the next row if value is found in this row we return true else we return false 
So here, instead of doing binary search on each row, we can check whether the target value lies in this range by taking first and last value of our row and then perform the binary search on it. For example, let's say when we take this first row, we take the first value which is 1 and we take the last value which is 7 and then we check whether the target value lies in this range then perform the binary search on it for example let's say uh, the target value is 16 so uh, we take the first row and we check whether 16 lies between 1 and 7 no so don't need to perform binary search on it let's move to the next row and then check whether this 16 lies between 10 and 20 yes so take this row and perform binary search on it so this is the uh, the improvement over running a binary search on each row so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n cross log m so where n and m is the size of row and column and its space complexity is big o of one and here is the code so we, we are traversing this matrix and we take each record and then the first condition is whether the target value lies in this range we take the first and last value of each row and check whether the target value lies in this range then perform a binary search then check whether this value this target value is present in this row or not so this is how we can solve this problem using binary search now let's discuss our next approach in which we improve this code before moving to our next approach let's revisit the property once again so the property of this 2D matrix are the first property is integers in each row are sorted from left to right and the second property is the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. So you can see 10 is greater than 7 and this 23 is greater than 20 and every row is sorted from left to right using these two properties let's discuss our next approach so in this approach initially let's put a pointer on the first row of the last column so first row and the last column so we put a pointer at this element and why we are doing it you will understand shortly from here you can see all the elements on the left of this row all the element on the left of this row is smaller than this element and all the elements in downward direction is greater than this element now suppose we have to search this target target 3 so what we have to do first we compare this target element with this element 7 and the target element is a smaller than this element so what we have to do we have to move in the left direction so let's move in left direction and here the element is 5 we compare 5 with 3 again target element is smaller than 5 so we move in the left direction and the element present at this row is 3 we compare 3 with 3 which is equal so we return true now assume the target is 11 so initially we put pointer at this element so we put pointer on the first row of the last column and we compare 7 with 11. So this target element is greater than 7. So we move, so we move in next row and in next row the element is 20. So we compare 20 with 11 and 20 is greater. So we have to move in the left direction. Then we compare 16 with 11 again 16 is greater so we have to move in the left direction and now when we compare 11 with 11 so we found the target element and we return true now assume the target element is 13 so we start with this element we first compare 7 with 13 so 7 is a smaller so we have to move in the next row we compare 20 with 13 
so 20 is greater so we have to move in the left direction so we compare 16 with 13 and 16 is again greater so we move in the left and when we compare 11 with 13 so 13 is greater so we have to move in the next row and in the next row so the element present here is 30 so 30 is greater than 30 is greater than 13 so what we have to do we have to move in the left direction and when we compare so 23 with 13 so again 23 is greater and after that i mean so we return false i mean we we are done with the traversal so so we we don't have i mean when we go left it is not a valid uh, move so that's why we came out of this loop and we return false so this is the uh, logic behind this approach now let's see the code so here uh, you can see uh, i have declared two variables row and column so row is initialized with zero and column is column length minus one so initially we put a pointer at this i mean at this cell and then we run a loop and its condition is while the value of column is greater than or equal to zero because we have assigned column with column length minus one and the value of row is less than m m is basically the number of rows so now first we check whether the element present at this index is equal to the target element if it is we return true else if it is greater uh, greater than the target element then we have to move in left else we have to move in next row so this is the condition so if we find a target element in this 2d matrix we return true else after the traversal we return false now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n plus m where n and m is the length of row and column and its space complexity is big o of one we are using constant space now let's discuss let's further optimize how we can solve this problem in our next approach let's start with our final approach so let's imagine in this way what if we put all the elements of this matrix of this matrix in a 1d array so let's say if we put all the elements in a 1d array like 1 3 5 7 and uh, it goes up to 60 and so on so now when we put all this elements in a 1d array we get the elements sorted in a ascending order and when the array is sorted we can use binary search to find the target element now if we declare an array and put all the elements in that array then we end up using extra space and also for traversing this matrix our time complexity will be m cross n so we don't have to use we don't have to declare an extra array so imagine this 2d matrix in the form of 1d array and then use a binary search on it now the question is for binary search uh, we first compute mid and for that we need start and end indices so imagine uh, this uh, so this 2d matrix has four column and three rows so it has four cross three 12 element so for this the start indices is zero and the end is 11 so let's write down its indices 0 1 2 3 then this 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 and the target element we have to find in this matrix is 3 now let's first compute the mid using this uh, expression and uh, the mid is 5 so let me write it so the mid is 5 so now we know by seeing this indices the element is 11 but how do you uh, find this 
uh, I mean, how do you find this element in a 2D matrix? So now uh, think in this way, every row takes up M columns. So this row, so for this row, we have four column similarly for second and third. So hence, if we divide by M, so the mid computed is five. If we divide this mid uh, by M, so I'm, M is the number of column. So we get the row number and the remainder will be our column number. So the remainder will be our column number. So when we divide it by four, we get one. And when we take its remainder using modulo operation, it's also one. So we have to go to the first row and first column and the element present is 11 and the target element is three. So we first compare the element is 11 is equal to three. No, then is 11 is three is greater than 11. No. So we have to update the value of end. So start is zero and end is mid minus one. So the computed mid is five. So the new value of end is four. And again, in next iteration, we compute the mid and this time the mid is two. So again, uh, we have to, uh, I mean, in this matrix, we have to find the value which is present at the second index. So in second index, we know the value is five, but how do we search in 2D matrix? So we divide two by four and for column, we take its remainder. So here we get zero and here we get two. So zero through and second column. So we get five. And again, if you see this five is greater than target element. So for target element, it is greater than target element. Again, we have to update it the value of end. So start is zero and the end is mid minus one. So computed mid was two. So let's update its mid and now it is one again in next iteration we compute the mid and this time the mid will be zero so we know in at zero this element is there so again we uh, to find this element in a 2d matrix again we divide to find the row we divide by four, which is zero. And to find the column, we take remainder. So zero modular sign four. So we get the remainder, which is zero. And here the element is one. Now this time it is not, uh, this value is smaller than the target element. So we have to add one to the, st uh, mid and assign to the uh, start variable. So start as one and end is also one. So let's compute the mid and this time the mid will be one. So again, uh, let's say for, uh, for finding the row, we divide by four, we get zero. And when we take its remainder, it's, it is one. So the value present, at the zeroth column and first uh, at the zeroth row and first column is three, which is equal to the target value. So we return true from here. So we found the target element in this studio matrix. Now let's talk about its time and space complexity. It's time complexity big O of log m cross n, which is better than our previous solutions. And it's a space complexity is big O of one. We are not using extra space. We are using only constant space. So that's it for this video tutorial. And in this tutorial, I have discussed four approaches to solve this problem. If you know any other approach, you can let us know through your comments. And thanks for watching this tutorial. For more such programming videos, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. You can visit our website, which is https://webdrive.com. Thanks for watching this video.